Next please refer to problem number 4. In this a brick is under water. So, we have to find the work done to bring the brick to the surface of the lake and the depth of the lake is given as 10 meter. Relative density is given as 3. So, we know that there are two forces acting on this brick in water. One is weight acting downward and the upthrust acting upward. So, the net force acting downward will be the weight mg minus upthrust. So, upthrust will be the weight of the water displaced by this brick. That will be, we can say that the volume of the brick into density of water into g. That will be the force mode here. So, we can write mass of the brick is given as 6, 6 into 10 minus, we have to find the volume of the brick. Volume of the brick can be found from relative density, which is uh, mass of the brick by density. You know that density of the brick can be found uh, in terms of relative density, which is uh, nothing but relative density into density of water. So, we can write density of brick is equal to dens relative density into density of water. So, this becomes F is equal to sixty minus mass of the brick M B by De relative density into density of water into density of water into g. So, these two cut out and substituting these values we get 60 minus mass of the brick is 6 by 3 into 10. So, that will be 60 minus 20 which is 40. So, the force needed to bring the brick to the top of the lake is 40 Newton and the height is 10 meter. So, the work done will be force into distance. So, therefore, the work done W is equal to F into S, F dot S that is 40 into 10 which is 400 Newton, 400 sorry, 400 joules. So, the answer is option number 4.